outside of the second row in that green truck because he's got to believe he's got a shot to win it as well. What about Noah Gregson, the teammate for Kyle Busch? I don't believe I'd count out anyone, Vince. 11 to go in Las Vegas. Who you betting on? Brett Moffitt up the middle. Johnny Sauter had the door closed on the bottom. Moffitt went to the top. He's going to come off turn two in second position. Look at him fan out here. Three wide, four wide. Look at Grant Infinger in the inside. Friesen holds him off for second. Oh, and Moffitt with a big wiggle. Flipping and sliding through three and four. Look at Johnny's in the middle, that white and blue, number 21. Camping World 10 to go at Las Vegas. They're all chasing Kyle Busch. Kyle has won on every active track in the truck series that he's competed on, except this one, his hometown of Las Vegas. What about Stuart Friesen has battled his way back into contention. The big block modified, but he's up on the East Coast or cheering right now, watching Friesen go. How about Johnny Sauter? He got up to speed now. A little struggle to get through the gears. In finger looking inside of Friesen. What a move by Grant Enfinger. Had some good momentum off turn four, didn't he? That's for fourth. Here Running out of time. Here comes Moffitt, though, Vince. He's been able to run Kyle Busch back down the last time by. Three tenths better than Bush. How about Johnny Sauter now? He's in the mix. Sauter didn't like the way his truck got through the gears on the restart, but it looks pretty sporty once he <laughs> once he gets that momentum going. But Infinger, he's on the move now. Inside of Sauter, looking for third. Johnny left the bottom of the racetrack open, down in three and four. Grant Infinger took it. Now Johnny's fighting back on the outside. I think. Brett Moffitt in the second position is going to need those guys to settle out that battle for third and use a little bit of draft. He needs a push from behind in order to make a run on Kyle Busch. And it looks like Sauter has cleared both Infinger and Friesen and is running toward the front. Remember, Kyle Busch running all three series this weekend here in Las Vegas, his hometown. You know he's hoping for the trifecta here in Vegas with the win and the trucks, the Xfinity and Cup. But first, he's got to finish it off here tonight, and Brett Moffitt is right there. Trying for win number 50 here in the truck series. He's got his hands full, doesn't he? He sure does. These truckers have closed the gap on Kyle Busch. Moffitt in second, Sauter in third, Infinger a little further back and forth. But Moffitt right up on the tailgate of Kyle Busch. Bill, do you think you make a move now? Or do you think you wait a few laps and, and just play with the distance behind? See if you can draft up and get a better chance. Michael, I think I would like to make a move now. If I got an opportunity and had enough momentum, I think I would rather have the lead and try to figure out how to keep them behind me. I don't know if it wouldn't be wise for Moffitt. It's a bit of a risk. Looks like Johnny Sauter's got a good run. But if he could get back to Sauter with the right momentum, those two could draft right down on Bush. Five to go. Kyle Bush, Brett Moffitt, Johnny Sauter, Grant Infinger, one through four, taking it to the finish. Infinger likes the high side, decided he'd roll up there and see if he could gain some momentum. The guys, they're running faster than the pole. Almost track record speed they're running right now. That's amazing. Oh, they, oh dice through traffic. Or bending right in the middle of the track. Cost prep Moffitt. Look at Infinger. This might be the fastest of the four trucks. He's really he's able to close on this battle for the lead. Can he clear Moffitt? Yes, I think he can. Boy, Look that, at him jump up there. That lap traffic cost Brett Moffitt probably a chance at this win as Moffitt now trying to get inside Infinger for third. But at the front, it's now Johnny Sauter chasing Kyle Busch. Johnny Sauter's team owner, Maury Gallagher, lives here in Las Vegas. That team has a lot of roots here to this part of the country. Johnny Sauter knows all that. He won Daytona. He wants to get a big win in his owner's hometown. And Johnny Sauter is a racer. He was so disappointed last week after not grabbing that win in Atlanta. Look at Moffitt. He battles back around Infinger. Bush is off the road trying to break the draft. Two laps to go. 
Johnny Sauter won the opener at Daytona. A former champion, Kyle Busch, looking for career win number 50 in the Truck Series and a first time ever win here at his hometown of Las Vegas. Kyle Busch is doing everything he knows how to do to keep that 21 of Sauter behind him. And look at Brett Moffitt, he hasn't given up yet. Closing ground, might be too little too late, but here he comes. One lap to go, the white flag lap for Kyle Busch. Johnny Sauter right there. Here comes Brett Moffat on the inside, taking a look on Sauter. Moffat inside of Sauter, that might be just what Kyle Busch needs. Sauter for second, battling with Moffat. And here comes Kyle Busch. Take it to the pay window and cash it. Kyle Busch wins at Las Vegas. <laughs> Look at that team celebrating a big victory for Kyle Busch Motorsport. Number 50 for Kyle personally. Mike Hillman Jr., the crew chief. And Vince, these guys, people forget about the history that you have racing against Kyle Busch going to victory lane, and now you go to victory lane with Kyle Busch. How do you feel about that? It's, a, it's an awesome feeling right now. I'm just really proud of all the guys that work on this Cessna Tundra. They haven't taken a day off since before Daytona trying to get everything ready to come here. I just got to thank God and thank everybody that works hard on these race cars. It's awesome. Congratulations. Thanks. That's Mike Hillman. He's going to victory lane. Championship crew chief and a championship driver, Kyle Busch. Kyle has now won here at his hometown in trucks, Xfinity, and Cup. And he's taking it easy on that engine as he burns it down. <laughs> is, is that taking it easy? Is that what that is? That's probably about five or 6,000 RPM. <laughs> just sort of. Definitely, a, definitely not taking it easy on the tires. No, not at all, but having some fun for these. Las Vegas fans that have come here tonight to see this show and what a show it was. The first time Kyle raced the truck here at Las Vegas, he was 16 years old. Hasn't raced it since, but tonight he climbs up and celebrates the victory. Finally, getting the truck win in his hometown. Career win number 50 in the trucks. Nice pose for the fans. I like it. One away from the all-time record. Kyle Busch getting it done in Vegas. Only fitting that you'd get rowdy in Vegas, right? I mean, that's what happens. <laughs> You come to Vegas, you get rowdy. Well, you got some rowdy victory tonight, that's for sure. And it has been impressive in his truck series career. Some amazing stats there. 35% of the time he, he straps in a truck, he wins the race. 50 wins and 142 starts. And led over 6,300 laps. That's amazing. He's in victory lane with Hermie Sadler. Well, here he is. He climbs out. Hometown, home track, victory. Kyle, they made you work for this one. Win number 50, and you get it at your hometown in Las Vegas, Nevada. Congratulations. Yeah, I appreciate that. It's uh, pretty awesome. You know, just a um, great team. Everybody at Cobblish Motorsports, everybody at Rowdy Manufacturing. I can't say enough about this Cessna Toyota Tundra. I mean, it was uh, really, really fast. I felt like we were just struggling a little bit in the long run, but, um, you know, Hillman kept making changes on it all night long and kept getting it better and better each and every pit stop. So, um, you know, thanks to Textron Aviation and uh, Cessna Beechcraft, Toyota TRD. Tell you what, those Mark Cronquest engines gave us a run for it, um, making us all look dumb on the decision we made, but um, they were fast, so it looked really good to see that. But um, thanks to Camping World and the fans and 
course, all these guys, everybody on my team, everybody here this weekend, they've done a great job. And uh, it's been a lot of fun to uh, to win these races, especially with your own team and, and being with these guys. But um, we'll go celebrate tonight. And uh, one of our partners here tonight, Incredible Bank, so I uh, appreciate them. When you're battling the 16 and then you fend off the 21, how much is offense and how much is defense at a place like this? It's it's all defense. You know, when, uh, when we had that long run there, and I felt like, the 16 and I, we stayed in good enough line that we just drove away from everybody. You know, the draft kind of helped us kind of get away from everybody. And then I was hoping that somebody would get behind me and we could just get away and then duke it out. But that was kind of a sh too short of a run there at the end in order to do that. But um, when you get out front, when you get strung out like that, I was trying to get by the 16. I just I couldn't do it. I couldn't pass him. There was nothing I could do. I mean, he could protect just a couple times on a lap or something like that, and uh, it would totally mess me up. And and mess up my air for me to be able to get a run on them. And always on the straightaways, you can get that run, but it's about what you can do when you get to the corner and get through that corner. So, um, you know, we got we got some work to do to try to be better here, but um, all in all was uh, a strong run and great night to be in victory lane. Well, he's the man and he's back in victory lane here in Las Vegas. Alan? Second place for Johnny Sauter, hard fought. Not so happy though after the race, even with second place, why not? Well, I mean, you don't win. That's so, what's there to be happy about? No, just. Proud of everybody on our Allegiant Sunseeker Chevy. Um, you know, I thought that lap truck would, uh, you know, stay out of the way there, and I was trying to run the middle there to try to get one last shot at Kyle down the back chute, and uh, that guy obviously just checked up or stopped or whatever, but it's just a frustrating night. We just could not get going on restarts again, and, you know, I think everybody probably thinks it's me and just won't run. So uh, we got to... Uh, Got to figure something out. I got to get better speed. But all in all, good night. Pit stops are amazing. Those guys are awesome. Um, thank all the guys at GMS. Everybody did a good job. We just, I don't know. It's it's good night. It really is. I just want more. Second place for Johnny Sauter. Yeah, I love that about Sauter, though. He always wants more. And if he's not in victory lane, he's not satisfied. In three races, Sauter has a first, a second, and a third.